Terminal tonight in the town of Pelham. The town of some 20,000 people is just west of Welland and south of St. Catharines. The concern of the community is about the town's finances. A just resigned councilor says there's about $17 million in unreported debt, while Pelham's mayor says that just isn't true. The town is holding a special meeting this evening, and as Britt Dixon tells us, residents are hoping for some answers. Former Councilor Marvin Junkin says Pelham Town Council is trying to cover up its debt. And we were told that the town was $17 million further in debt than what was previously thought. He's alleging that debt was revealed during an in-camera council meeting back in September after a secret forensic audit. We uh, as councillors were told that uh, everything was going to have to be kept secret and more or less lie to our constituents. But says he doesn't have any proof to back it up. Earlier this month, Junkin resigned his seat. As council continues down a path that I feel is increasingly unethical and dishonest, mm -hmm. I have no choice to resign my position. To protest, Pelham's mayor denies that's what happened. That that is false, and that the information that was presented was garbled confused and, uh, and inaccurate. He says that meeting was behind closed doors because it involved a legal matter. It was about an identifiable individual and it was uh, solicitor client privilege. These allegations are expected to be a big part of a special town meeting held tonight here at E.L. Crosley School where the firm KPMG will release its audit report on the town. The audit arose out of questions local residents and some councillors had about a $36 million community center and arena under construction right now in Font Hill. We're trying to get the truth, and we're trying, we're tired of being bullied, we're tired of being lied to. And tonight they're hoping for answers from an auditor. We, we're going in open-minded, but we suspect we'll leave uh, more upset. So don't expect a lot. I think it's going to be stage handled pretty nicely by the, uh, the mayor and the, the town council of Pelham. The way I operate and the way a reasonable person operates is you look for the facts, you look for the information, and then you deal with it when you get it. And that's what we're doing tonight. Residents also will be weighing in with their questions. They were able to email them before the meeting. The mayor says he'll be learning about the auditor's findings at the meeting tonight as well, along with residents. We'll continue to follow this story and see what comes out of tonight's meeting. I'll send it back to you on the desk. All right, thanks so much, Britt Dixon.